are you going for, Bill? I'm gonna uh, go with the Mini J bridle for right now. Okay. Yeah. I got a regular J hook bridle, but this car's got a good hookup for this. It's a reason. Okay. Now where are our hookup points? I'm okay. gonna go right here. Okay. If it'll reach, I'll go to the actual Okay. Let's see if we can roll it. All right. This truck's got a good fast idle, but I don't ever. It's got a good what? Fast idle. Like fast idle. On something, but I don't ever idle up. Say again? I don't think I need to block the tires from it rolling since they're all flat. Okay. So, let's roll it over quick. Alright, let's see what we got. Pretty easy. Slots are in a good spot. Well, I like these because when you chain it and you got to you're trying to go underneath, they get all bound up in there. Yeah. And then you have a hard time getting your chain up. Right. So we'll have them flip it again all the way this time. On its roof? Yeah. Okay. Try something a little more challenging. All right, we will re rig. I'm going to put this to the back, I'll spin it, and then I'll flip it where it's at. Okay. As soon as Renee gets off the car. <laughs> it's only dropped there, why don't you fuck it? No, I'm good, I don't got no blood. Go to the same hookup points. Same hookup points? Yeah, I'm just gonna spin it real quick a little bit. Just spin the back over. Okay. <laughs> it worked though. Yeah. All right, now what do we think? All right, let's try it. Single lane rollover. Huh? I'm gonna boom down, and then I'm gonna boom out. I don't know how it's gonna work here on the dirt. It's a nice thing about this truck. It's got boom. Yeah. Not much, but. Oh, I could go out further. Oh, can it? Oh, okay. Not much compared to my tater. <laughs> Your dad's tater. <laughs> I'll probably flip 30 or 40 cars with this truck in the last year. Nice. 
the sand is difficult, like this dirt here. When yeah. you got out in the desert and you're in the soft sand, it'll kind of bite a little bit more, I think. Right. Most of the time, I'll just spin it like this. And then once it gets to a certain point where the other one grabs, it'll come right over. I'd say that was kept within a single lane. I don't ever want to slam it down on my cable. Right. Because when a cable snaps, everybody knows what happens. So. Yeah. I always try to let it go the hole and slack up. Slack it up. I usually, on the heavies, I hit the air, air release. So my trunk with the extendable boom rolled the car over in one lane. All right, guys, so here's the situation. The pallets represent a electrical box or a curb or something like that and this vehicle is high centered on it and we're going to imagine that this vehicle is more of a high dollar vehicle it's got relatively little damage um, minus what happened here um, so what we're going to do is simulate a situation where we need to lift the vehicle off of this electrical box or whatever it may be so what we have is two mini j's down here and then we have the recovery truck here and what we're going to do is boom out over it pick it up and swing it off of the box. Let's see. Four by four is to one spread out the weight among the rear bumper and minimize damage from the chain. Any more damage, you know? Right. Ah. Hang on. Let me get it off this muffler. Try that. Okay, car's up. We can keep it coming up. Nice. A little more. I try to boom in when I'm doing it. There we go. It'll get the back of right. Now that we're clear, you know, right. Now we're clear of the electrical box or a high curb or anything like that. And uh we didn't damage the undercarriage any more than it already was. Kept the chain off of the rear bumper. I'd say that was a good recovery. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that little training video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Thanks.